All right, I'm sorry about that. We're getting signed back in here, so hopefully y'all will jump over to this one. Um, I did cancel the other live feed and uh, got off the internet, so we'll be waiting until uh, y'all switch over. Um, I was waiting to see. Nobody checked in so that they saw me on the new feed, so hopefully y'all will find me. Send me a message. Uh, let me know you're here. Call and said hi. Still waiting. I still don't see anybody checking yeah, in on the live feed. Just uh, sign off and sign back on. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay. it over. Yeah. I, oh, there they are. Miss Carla was on it just now. Hey, Dave. Much better. Is that much better? Okay, good. Um, yeah. Who else is there? Christy's there. Wanda. Okay. Yeah, I was try I was on the internet and I thought it was going to hold, but it didn't. So, anyway, this is Kathy from uh, the Family Chapel in Walker, Louisiana. We're here with Christy and Donna and Michelle. Um, Vicki has gone to visit her dad and she, she said she was going to try to sign on. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, here, so here we go. Somebody let Marie know that I jumped so that she can find us. Um, if you wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate it. Go ahead and sign in for, uh, send it out to friends that want to watch. There's some people that only watch it because you share it. Um, We've been doing the book of Revelation, and last week we talked about Revelation 1. Uh, I think we've done it, we did the intro, and then we did Revelation chapter 1, and then we did, this is chapter 2. We're, gonna, we're only going to get through seven verses today, so hold on to your seats and grab your notebooks, because there's a whole lot of information to share um, in this book. Uh, we're, we're looking at the book of Revelation so we can understand the end times and what we're going through right now um, there's a lot of prophecy but most of all this book is a book of worship and I read a book a long time ago called Equake uh, by Jack Hayford a pastor and uh, does it I know it's backwards but anyway it, it is available on Amazon if you want to get it but it talks about it being a the book of Revelation is a book of worship and Jack Hayford is a worshiper he wrote hundreds of worship songs and and uh, he was the president of the denomination that we're affiliated with and just all kinds of cool stuff. Um, but when he does this book, he looks at it as a reason to worship. And I think that's what I really want to get through. It's not scary. It's not difficult to understand. Hey, Maria, glad you made it back. I'm sorry about the jump. Um, so I want you to, to start looking at the things in Revelation as a reason to worship the Lord. Uh, last week we talked about getting a vision of who Christ is now. You know, he's no longer a baby, right? He's not the baby in the manger. He is not, um, he's not the teacher, the shepherd. He's not the lamb. He's not the sacrifice. Even the sacrifice of the cross is not who he is any longer. <clears throat> in the book of Revelation, we see him as the king of kings and the Lord of Lords, and we see the one who was, who is, and is to come, and we see the Ancient of Days, and we see the soon and coming King, um, and that's who we're, we need to understand who Christ is now. He's no longer the Lamb or the sacrifice. Hey, Deborah, glad you made it. Um, it's really important, I believe, that we get a grip on who God is right now, who Jesus Christ is right now. Um, the set, there was five principles we talked about last week. I'm, I listed them real quick, and I'll, I wanna, I'll give them to you again today if I can find them. They're in my notes somewhere from last week. Hold on, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Nope, wrong page. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought I had all this together, but I don't. I don't have everything together like I thought I did. But that's not unusual, is it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Here it is. Um, the first thing is that we need to understand who Christ is now. Uh, the second thing is, is the book of Revelation taps into heaven's supplier of health. And it's not health in the body. It's health in the body of Christ. That's where all, everything you need to have a healthy body of Christ, have a healthy church, so healthy is in spirit. Revelation. Health, it's in the, it's in the, in the church today. Um, 
Uh, the number three is it aligns us with the throne of God. Uh, the book of Revelations will unlock and release divine deliverance. And we'll see that also as we study this. And number five, it is the theme of our eternal celebration. If we can get a grip of who Christ is now and start worshiping him now, I can't wait to imagine what it's going to be like. You know, the, all of our worship services here on earth are just practice for when we get to heaven. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you repeat four? I didn't get it. Oh, I'm there. sorry. Four is where it's, the book of Revelation will unlock the release of divine deliverance. It's going to show us how to do that. <clears throat> um. We're going to get into those as we go through the book. Uh, the Equake, this is, like I said, written by a pastor that we've sat under for a while. Um, and we talked, we mentioned those last week, and I, I just wanted to say this is where we are today. We are in number two. Our worship taps into heaven's supplier of health for the body. Are you still on, Carla? It's losing us again. 